Hello everyone. This is a realistic STC 100 dual auto reverse high speed dubbing stereo cassette deck. As you can see, it's very dusty. Pretty much gonna be the same story as the other stuff I've fixed recently. Needs a new belt. Um, the second cassette deck, actually the belt is doing just fine. But the first one is, uh, I almost feel like it's loose. It's Luckily, none of them are gummy or gooey or anything like that. But the first one just seems like it needs a new belt that's a little tighter and more supple, and it should work just fine. See, the problem is, um, whenever you try to uh, reverse it, the belt will slip off. As you can see, the belt just kind of slips off there. And it's the belt's actually just slipping right past that uh pulley or i guess this would be the secondary flywheel because it's reversing uh so i think that the belt is just too loose it kind of feels like it too i can really push on it real easily this one's doing pretty good over here i don't know why this one um got more loose uh, i wonder if this maybe this side was played more who knows but anyway, I'm going to uh, start tearing it down, and uh, this should be easy just putting on a belt that fits. Uh, hopefully I have a belt that's long enough for this. I got the front off, now I got to remove these, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five screws, and I'll be able to get to the belts. I might have to remove a few zip ties, but I have replacements for those. So the bad news is I couldn't find a replacement belt that was the right size. However, the good news is I was able to use the same belt. It was just me cleaning it and sanding it a little bit and then I flipped it over and it seems to work just fine for now. It really is a temporary fix. It plays, it reverses just fine. The other thing I did was I, I kind of tuned in the speed because this motor was running faster than this motor. Um, and I marked the potentiometer because I had to go and tweak all the potentiometers to try and find which one did what. Um, and I marked them for future reference so I know now. I thought it would have been on the back of the motor. It's got the little hole in the back, but it, there's just nothing there. There's no potentiometer in the motor. It's on the board. Now I'm just going to put it all back together. Everything works now. Didn't have to do anything to the cassette deck too. Like I said, the first cassette deck, it's a temporary fix. I flipped the belt over and sanded it and cleaned it, and it's actually grips now. This will play metal, chromium tapes, normal, all that. Uh, Dolby C and B, uh, a bunch of different types of modes there. I'll demonstrate this cassette back first. Four, rewind. Reverse. Okay. Play. Reverse. Fast forward. Rewind. So the reverse button here actually works by, uh, whenever you press it, it, it just will play the whole tape, both sides A and B, and when it gets to the either end, it automatically stops. Um, I guess they put that button here because this has got the continuous mode on it, and this, this one doesn't need that reverse button because this only does that function. So this side will loop and this side will not. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.